LDG Electronics provides state-of-the-art antenna tuners for every amateur need. An LDG desktop tuner works automatically with nearly any station up to 1,000 watts. LDG Zero Power Tuners are ideal for portable or mobile use, as they consume almost no current and can be powered by internal batteries that last up to a year. LDG Tuners are backed by our two-year fully transferable warranty and our legendary customer service, the best in the industry. Visit us on the web at ldgelectronics.com. And now, from Grid Square Echo Mike 48, this is 100 watts and a wire. All right, so we'll, we'll come back. Let me, let me talk to you just a little bit. <clears throat> what sucks is we have a good, um, some 160 stuff to talk about. Anyway, let me continue on. In uh, October, my membership is up, and they're always like a... Uh, not, not need that 49 bucks and I'm every year man every year if you've been following the show long enough you know that this this is like, uh, I'm like mm, but I want to have a voice if I'm going to complain I'm not complaining I don't complain about the league it's not a whole lot there was one time when the whole force of 50 thing went down do you guys remember that when Puerto Rico was slammed I believe it was Hurricane Maria she came through and all that happened and the whole you know I was public about that that's probably why no one talks to me uh, anymore but uh, I thought that it was a little bit of a promotional thing it was a little bit of marketing a little bit of embellishment they actually sent 27 28 or 29 people it wasn't 50 at all anywho that's water under the bridge I'm not upset at them at all but every year I'm like Ugh. But I want to be able to speak about these things freely. And I figure, look, you know, it's like, kind of like voting. If you're not going to go vote, then why are you even talking about politics? Having a format like this and sometimes talking about the league, I should at least be a member. And I have been since I've been licensed in 2012. And so that happened this week, 49 bucks later. I don't know. I understand that they are our voice. You know, when dealing with the FCC, and you can go on and on about what they do, what they provide, that sort of thing. But uh, I am a, a member again. So, uh, also, uh, I was unplugged most of the week. Three days this week we had rain steady. And uh, it was the kind of rain, that driving rain, wind, fall came in on the backside of this rain. But at different points of the day, there'd be lightning, thunder at least. Unplugged. I did try to work. Did you guys work um, Sierra 9? What was it? Uh, Sierra 9 Zero Kilo? Did you guys try to work that? I tried. I tried. And I tried it on the Wyndham, which I hung up recently. A few weeks ago now. And uh, no uh, joy. No joy uh, on that behalf. Oh, yeah. I would say if you want to join me in the Discord, I'm wondering if that's a problem. I wonder if that's a problem, too. I, anytime you have an audio problem, it makes my head spin. Uh, especially when the board looks the way it should be. But, you know, maybe there's just something simple pushed somewhere. We had that problem last week with the Discord. I tried to work that de-expedition. No, it was like working 5 to 10 up. Well, old boy was right near... The maritime net, you know, 14300. He was on 290. And when he was on, when he was split working uh, 295, things were good. Then he started saying, listening 5 to 10 up. And he was near 1430, 300. And people lost their minds because people were calling close to that frequency. And then next thing you know, you're interrupting with the. With the Still never heard me. I only called five up anyway because that was when I kind of first got involved. And uh, I didn't get him. I didn't get him. I was hoping that we would. Let's, uh, let's check in. The guy's there. Oh, Don is working tonight also. Don is Kilo Charlie Zero Delta Whiskey Zulu. He is uh, going to try 3835. So if you're interested in working 75-meter phone, try to work him 
We've got one on 40 at 72.20. And another on 38.35. Don is going to try that here. Steve-O is having the audio issues. It might be something easy. I hope it is. We'll try to figure it out. He's in his shack. We will be taking calls together uh, when I finish up here. Oh, you think I should bring him up through the Discord. That's an interesting idea. Now to get him a message. Let's get him in there. Let me bring you up here first, Rex. Let me see if you can hear me. All right, I got to turn it up. Should be up, Rex. Do you copy? I do. Uh-oh, I hear you. You're glitching in and out. Talk to me again. Okay, yeah, we had a little trouble with that the other day, but uh, sound okay here, Christian. This is KE0MHA. All right. See, that's working all right, too. Let me send him a text. This is going to be one of those shows that are just not uh, going to the Hall of Fame. All the rest of them I send there, and they pack them away tightly in the dumpster out back. And I'm going to send him a text message. That's a good idea. I'm going to try him. He may not pick this up right away. He's kind of working and doing the thing. But uh, we'll keep him in. You can see his rig, his station. And uh, we can take some calls. I'm going to go ahead and mute mute again here, Rex, and we'll wait for him. But everything going okay for you? Uh, yeah, I just thought I'd uh, look like maybe. No, we got the crackling on your side again. Let me mute. Tell the people that uh, and mute you. Um, if you're part of the Discord group, uh, you can... Let me see if I have that. Well, this is just live everything. If you're not part of the Discord, you can call in. And there's a waiting lobby, and I'll call you, and then, you know, unmute, and we do one at a time, because a bunch of people can gather there, and it's probably best just to... Just to uh, go one at a time. So... Anywho, what else? Oh, Jamboree on the Air. Did anybody work at Jamboree on the Air station? Anybody work that DX? That D Expedition? Uh, they sounded great. They were on uh, 20. I did hear them on... Uh, let's see, where else did I hear them? 17 meters, I believe, for a bit. I saw them, but I couldn't plug in. For the most part, I couldn't plug in. Good evening to Ishmael. And Scotty, good evening to you. Some technical audio issues tonight. Uh, Steve is here physically. Well, not here in the house. But he is um, ready to run. We were getting a feedback loop on his audio, which is a little bizarre. But he's here, folks. He's here. And uh, I will uh, be running with him a little bit later on the 100 watts in a wire post-show air check which is when uh, we get finished here. Jeff says he had a uh, jamboree on the air from Brazil, which is great. Uh, Don, we uh, we also have Don is on tonight right now on 3835. 3835 if you have your radio and you're nearby. And I still hear, this is what's interesting. I'm listening. I hear him. Be careful with your travels. <clears throat> Travel safe and, and get uh, get down. Uh, Uncle to Paul Florida running his net. So, All righty, we're going to clear with Kevin, and that's uh, Kilo 8 Victor India November. And, uh, this and we have a Facebook group. Uh, let's Yankee see here. Let me bring that back. Sunday that is for. Right. W1UED. W1UED sounding good. I'm going to bring this down. I put a question out there. Uh, to the group who on Facebook. This is uh, where Crazy Zuckerberg will probably go nutty. That's why I started the Discord. It was very small. Still is very small compared to the amount of people that used the Facebook group. But I still have it as a resource for us because people are still friendly there. If you do Facebook, look for 100 watts and a wire there. And uh, join us. You just answer a couple questions, you know, to make sure that you are legit get a lot of uh, attractive women want to join the group and it's very like you it's, it's a trap so anyway I wanted some thoughts on the one meter uh, the 160 meter band and I uh, said I would uh, present them on the podcast they do call 160 the gentleman band and uh, the gentleman's band even 
And uh, I don't know if it's like um, maybe they wanted it to make it sound like a smoking pile of parlor, parlor or whatever. Um, it's not. It's not. It's almost that you just need the space to do it. And I've had 160 up for several years and I have issues with it every year. And that has to do with space and where it's hanging because it's in between trees. It is straight up in the woods between smaller trees. I've done a pretty good job, I can say, of clearing my wire. It's a lot of wire. Uh, but dead wood will fall down on it, and it's uh, difficult. So uh, in terms of uh, it being called the gentleman's ban, I don't know about that. I think anybody's a gentleman who's not talking about, like, politics and freaking out about it, you know, like just chilling, just having a nice conversation is gentlemanly. I can't say you'd be void of that on the 160-meter band, but I do love it. And if you do have a vertical, you can go up. If you have the space to do 160, um, and you can get like a dipole like I have. Mine's uh, mine's got a really jacked up ballon I got from NI4L. And I've got ladder line that runs out. And it does great. But I've had to rebuild it a couple of times. That I can tell you... Um, you know, so it comes with maintenance, as I can imagine a tower might come with maintenance. A guy says it's one of his favorite bands. He used to talk for hours on it, sit with his dad and several of his friends, learning about earlier ham radio. Thinks a lot of people that were on the band are silent keys now. That could be the case. Now, this antenna is going to, you know, have a range. I love, I think it's January when the 160 contest comes in. And, uh... You can really test your antenna at that point because you're the problem is you're not getting real signal reports. You're getting the 5.9, and it makes you feel good that you made the contact. I usually judge my signal by how hard we had to work. Three times around. 5.9. No problem. No problem. 5.9. All good. Um, but I can tell where I, I hit. I've never had any DX. You know, I've never hit any DX anywhere on 160. But I sure love it. She's beautiful with those long legs, but a real fickle mistress. It's really hard sometimes in the woods. I think Steve, uh, he's he's got a tower, so he's hanging things off a tower, and I can show you a picture of his rig. He, de he got it up. He got that antenna in the air, tested it, uh, tuned it for 1.900, and it's doing well for him. I like to put it on the air and, and hear if we can make that trip. I've worked uh, Oregon, so maybe, maybe. The good news is there's plenty of space. There seems to always be enough space there. All right. Two nets going, 7220 friends. And Don is trying 3835 if you're watching in real time. All right. Uh, my antenna is a basic dipole with a nice balance, ladder line does just fine it's up not super high i know it should be up higher but you know we all would like to be up higher it's as high as i can get it about 50 52 feet tops rex uh let's see what chris says uh most treasured 160 meter cw dxq so was with a gentleman in austria a couple of years ago rex said our local group gets on 160 uh, to chat because my VHF setup is lacking at home. David says 160 meters along with 6 meters have always been my favorites, mostly because they offer unique opportunities and challenges. That's true. Spatially, that's probably most. I think everybody would do something on 160 if they could. I also don't think you're special being the gentleman's band in, in terms of I'm a gentleman, I've got them distinguished, and I've got the land. I, I don't think that's it. It's, um, what are you saying, you know? What are you saying that makes you maybe the gentleman? Okay, Doug says, I have no acreage. Still trying to find the magic antenna for 160 on a city lot. Inverted L's, that was said uh, in the chat. Also, 
you know, maybe a vertical. I don't know how high it has to be, 40 feet vertical, straight up. That's a lot. That's a tall antenna. But, you know, you can do it. People are doing it. And Uncle Paul, who's running our 40-meter net at the moment, he's working to put a 160 vertical up. So if you don't have the space, that's an option. Ray says, I need a better antenna, probably more power. I don't know. Better antenna, for sure. More power into a crap antenna is not going to do that much for you james says the wind keeps taking down my structures for any antennas for 160 so i'm sol for now ron says i'd love to be on it but uh no room for an aerial david listen occasionally uh don't have an antenna for 160 it's normal it's normal again you know you need the space and it's one of those bands that do really well in the winter time in summertime, I still hear guys on in the summertime. It, it's just nighttime comes earlier in the winter. The band does better. Mark says 160 is the only HF band that I've yet to have a contact. If I had a little more property, I could change that. Look at the verticals. We probably need to talk about vertical options. And I understand that if you're in an HOA or in a tight space, maybe your neighbor doesn't want to look at a 40 foot or whatever it is. I don't know. I'm not educated enough with the 160 antenna options to know what that height would be. But uh, I do understand uh, the challenges. Ed says 160 has been a challenge for me. The antenna fit uh, his lot. It was an Alpha Delta LB plus 160 through 10 meters. Um, That makes the bandwidth on 160 just a tiny sliver. And uh, it's a compromised situation. Get it? Totally understand. Bill uh, says, I have a quarter wave length inverted L he uses on 160. That I hear a lot. Even, Even from some of the big guns that you may know. Sometimes big guns don't have a lot of property. They may have some. They may not have a lot. But an inverted L, you know, if you think about it, going up, running up, and then running over, that's a good way to do it. A lot of people have done it that way. And uh, it's something to think about. Maybe the gen I don't know why the gentleman's band, why it's a gentleman. I think it's a, it's a band that people would really like to try. But there's other bands available. Thank goodness that we can look at 20 We can look at 40, we can look at 17, 15, even smaller, 10, 6. You know, it's a challenge for a lot of people. Most, I don't know about most, I don't know. You know, 75 meter phone, the 80 meter band. It's, you know, that's a lot of wire too, you know, especially if you're doing something that's not off center fed. If you're doing a quarter wave, it's a lot, it's a lot to do. So a lot of people aren't on 80 meters either. 160 seems like a dream to most folks. But I figured we'd talk about it. we talk about it, and we uh, talked about it on Facebook earlier uh, this week. Ray says, I'll expand what I said a little more. Oh, what did he say up front? I don't know. I have one uh, 60-meter dipole that is fed with ladder line uh, to a tuner. Got it. I use it for all bands. Now, I can get 20. I can get 20 meters on mine. Um, you know, it's probably two to one or two to three, and it's consistent across the way. But uh, for me, 20 meters, I got a 20 meter antenna and it's proper. So I don't, I don't really play around with that. Other bands don't tune on it. I can hear everything on it. It's a good listening antenna. And maybe I'll try to turn it on tonight. Still thinking in the back of my mind, what audio problem are we effing with here? I should probably wrap it up. Uh, so it'll make you guys crazy, but I do enjoy your company and I'm glad you came. We're going to come back also and make some phone calls on the radio. We're actually going to do radio tonight, eight o'clock. Steve and I will take over and take some calls. One thing I do hear in my head is my, my amp sounds much louder than it does. So that's something I, I don't know. I'm not going to trip on it right now. You guys hear me all right? It's bad enough. It's bad enough you have to hear me only. Kenneth says, did uh, 160 a couple of times many years ago. Never had much interest in it. And being an apartment dweller now, no room for an antenna for 160. 
totally get it. Rhea says, I only operate CW and Digi on that band. I don't know. Maybe that's today. I have worked her on 160 in the past. It could have been years ago, though. Butch, I've never been on 160 until 2014 after a move. My new club president was a big 160-meter am -er. So one winter evening, I tuned up my 80-meter dipole to their frequency and switched my TS450 to AM, put the power to all it would get, and had a blast. Paul Brown says, I never had an antenna for 160, so I've never tried it. I think you would dig it. You know, it's like this, I don't know how to explain it. It keeps me busy. It keeps me busy, man. It really does. Mark says, I still want to try Christian's double bazooka. I just have to get off my lazy arse and find my round to it. All right. We're not judging you, Mark. Man, people are busy. Everybody's busy. But the double bazooka is one heck of an antenna, and Steve has made one for 160. Lots of wire. And uh, I'm going to show you a picture of that next. I, I really wanted him to come and talk about it, but because we've got this weird loop, uh, you know, it's kind of weird. Don't want to talk him through it. Uh, PJ. PJ says, my lot is 55 feet wide. Maybe next QTH. Maybe his next house. He's saying he's stoked to even have half a signal on 40. Good. Again, these are just thoughts on 160. And they go on and on. What I want to do is uh, I want to show you a picture of Steve's deal here. Let me show you what he put up here. Let's just see the top of what he's got going on because I can't even explain. I won't know which one of these. Look at the double bazookas, though. You can see them kind of, it's not, it's not the beam on the top there. It's underneath. And look at the centerpieces, okay? You can see his knot there and the inverted Vs. You see those both there? Okay, there's three of them. There's three of them. I'm seeing three of them. I don't know which one is for 160 at the moment. We'll figure that out. We'll talk to Steve and we can get it, get the audio sorted out. But he got it up there. He's got it up there now. He's tested it. It seems to be doing fine. And uh, there you go. Good deal. All right, I want to give you guys, uh, I'm going to announce some winners. Winners here. Let me... Uh, let me go over to a look like this. What do we see when I go over here? I want to show you the guys that are working because we've got two nets happening at the same time. There you go. You can see the guys. There you go. Oh, I like that shit. Just left that on. See the hand staring at me. That's no good. Let's talk about the fallout. Fallout was last weekend. Uh, people who participated had until Friday this week to submit your totals and uh, many people did i appreciate you guys i hope you had a blast we talked about it last week you even showed a video of me working in the dark it's probably the best thing is to cut out the lights so you don't see me and i work in the dark you know let me uh let me give away the winners uh the winners uh your prizes will be mailed directly to you from the donor so uh, you can expect to be contacted probably tomorrow, uh, and they will ship it out to you directly. Okay, you can let me know if you have any issues. Todd, hello to you, man. I haven't seen you in a while. I hope you're doing all right. And everybody else that's here with me in the chat, good to see Tom, uh, our other friends here hanging out. Scott, good to see you guys. And I see folks in the Discord. Thank you so much for coming by. Maybe we'll get a chance to take some calls. I'm really bumming about the audio between the fellas. I don't know what that is. I'd like to figure it out. I'm going to announce this, wrap things up, and we're going to come back at the top of the hour with a new stream. Uh, it'll be exclusively on YouTube, but that's when we do ham radio. We've got two nets in play right now. 3835 is where you'll find Don. He's Kilo Charlie Zero Delta Whiskey Zulu. It's on the bottom of your screen there next to the 100 watts and wire logo. He's taking calls 80 meters. Uncle Paul, below me now, is on 40 meters. That's the band we're going to take over at the top of the hour. He'll run for an hour. Steve and I will pick it back up. 
and uh, hopefully we'll get some audio sorted out for you. All right, let's get on with the Fallout prizes. I said thank you. I hope you guys are cool. Let's get on with it. Todd, hit me up, man. I start to worry about you. I haven't seen you in a while. Okay, talking to the folks in the chat. Remember, this podcast, you can take it with you. We record it on Sunday, 7 o'clock Central. You can watch us live stream it. Take the audio with you. It's been a podcast since 2015, and this is how we do it. But you can watch it and uh, watch our net in real time if you want to join us and if you're free. All right, let's give away that MFJ mobile antenna. It's an 80 through 2 meter from MFJ. It's the 1699T. Thank you to MFJ. They're also going to give you the, uh, the stub you need, 18 feet of coax, and the mount. So if you're fit, fitting to do a little mobile, Ronald, he's November 1, Bravo. Nope, November 1, India, Bravo, Quebec. November 1, India, Bravo, Quebec. Ronald, congratulations. You have won the MFJ mobile setup. They're going to give you 18 feet of coax, and you're thinking, see, child, why would I need that? You need it. You need it because you, if you put it on the front of your car or truck up on the hood, you got to run. You got to run to the, you got to get in past the firewall. And if you set up in the back, you're going to need yourself a little coax. They're hooking you up with it. You got it. Okay. And it's going to match the antenna connections straight to your rig. They're also giving you the mount. So congratulations, Ronald. Thanks for playing along. Uh, he uh, incidentally made over 100 contacts. I don't know which band. 108. So good for him. This is a random drawing, by the way. When people enter, their names go with a number, then the number and the prize, and they're matched up. My children pick. It comes out. It's just like that. Maria. She is Whiskey 7 Tango Echo uh, uh, Echo. Whiskey 7 Tango Echo Echo. Maria. She's going to win the Power Film 20 watt solar panel. Congratulations. Power Film Solar, I like a lot. I like them a lot. They always donate. Um, they are on the periphery there, the power side of amateur radio, and I dig them a lot. I use them, and when I set up solar power, it's Power Film. And what got me, they're military tested, they even shot one of these things. They shot one of these things, and it still worked. The video's on their website. Check them out. Uh, congratulations to Maria. Scott. Kilo Delta 5. Papa Charlie Kilo. He's going to win a Nuts and Volts subscription. So look for that. Congratulations to Scott. Kilo Delta 5. Papa Charlie Kilo. The winner of a Nuts and Volts subscription. Now, Todd, for the ABR Industries, this is a fun one here. This is the kind of thing I'd like to win. Of course, I'd like to win a big big radio and a tower that cranks up and tilts and touches like the sky. And that kind of, you know what I mean? Like, we think, like, I'd love that. This is one of the ones that in, a, in any sort of, like, activity, operating event, this is the kind of thing I'd like to win. So, Todd, Kilo Foxtrot Zero Alpha India Tango. Again, Kilo Foxtrot Zero Alpha India Tango. ABR Industries is giving him 50 feet of coax. He gets his choice of connector, like the PL259, BNC, or the N-type. Ferrites. And a personalized label. This is why I like that. How many times have you taken and hung out with your buddies and you brought the the coax? They wanted you to bring pizza and beer, but you brought coax. And then the grabbing hands. Well, this one's personalized. Got your call sign and your name on it. I just love it. I, I, I want that in my life. But congratulations to Todd. KF0AIT. Another one, over 100 contacts. Not sure the band. I probably should have should have asked. Could have been digital. Not sure. All right, for the LDG 9 to 1 Unin, LDG Electronics has donated the 49 to 1 Unin. Now, this is one, if you live in a quiet environment, 
this thing could sing for you. You could do a lot of stuff with it. If you're in a noisy environment, it may not be the unin for you. Respect, respect, respect. Benjamin Davis. Kilo November 4, Romeo, Foxtrot, Tango, your 49 to 1 on an LDG Electronics hooking you up. Congratulations. And uh, thanks for playing along and making those contacts. Moving on to the uh, CQ Magazine subscription. Kirby, Kilo 4, Charlie Alpha November. Kilo 4, Charlie Alpha November. Kirby gets the CQ Magazine subscription. Congratulations to Kirby. Here's one. Donald. You're listening to him maybe right now. He's not listening to me. So he doesn't know. So if you work him tonight on 3835, let him know he won the BioNO uh, 1209. It's the 9 amp hour, the small battery, great for portable operations. I, I don't know if you can take that one on the plane. That always gets weird. I think so, though. I think so. So he gets the BioNO Power. Again, another company on the periphery of amateur radio on the power side. Couple that bio NO with a power film, bada bing. Periphery is cool. Congratulations to Don. And James, the NI4L. This is the uh, Zulu Sierra 6 Bravo Kilo Whiskey. And that's an antenna. That's an optimized G5RV. It's a multi band antenna. James. Kilo Golf 5, Lima, Tango, Lima. Kilo Golf 5, Lima, Tango, Lima. Jim, he picks that up tonight. Um, the NI4L made antenna. So congratulations to everyone. Everyone who participated, all of our winners. Thank you all very, very much. Let's see what we can hear. And listen now to we'll uh, we'll like 7220 right, to work uh, our 40 meter net. Uniform, two, and listen for 3835. 3835. That'll get you uh, Don. Don's running a net there. Only 100 watts. So I'm curious to see how he's doing. And I only say only 100 watts is because, you know, on 75 meter phone, you hear a lot of stuff. Guys, you hear a lot of stuff. Guys, I apologize. Sidecar Steve uh, had a little bit of echo and a little bit of um, something going on in his audio. We need to chase down that bug. I appreciate your patience and you coming by. You may want to open up another browser because what we're going to do is take some calls. And um, we'll, do, we'll do ham radio at the top of the hour. I'll take calls and sort out this audio issue. The fact that I'm not doing it, I don't hear him in a strange way, he's not hearing me in a strange way, somehow coming through this system to you. It's a situation and I don't know what. Open up another browser, if you will, and get ready to click on this separate net. Uh, not a net, a live stream. I record our podcast on Sundays. It's good for my family time. The fellas are here. They're able to do it. You guys are able to be here, and I appreciate that. Um, it's recorded, and I'll send it out probably in the morning to the folks to listen on their way to the train, cutting the grass for the last time, whatever it is. Uh, you'll have that, but you uh, can join us and watch the show live if you like to when uh, it's recorded on Sundays at 7 o'clock Central. Appreciate you. Go work the fellows. I will see you at the top of the hour, just 15 minutes from now. 
in the stream and on the air as we do ham radio. Take care of yourselves. Look out for each other in this crazy, crazy world. I don't even want to get started. And uh, I'll see you at the top of the hour. Stay above the noise, guy. We'll see you soon. To join the 100 Watts in a Wire community, visit 100wattsinawire.com.